Okay, this race is scheduled for uh, no more than four laps. We're not going to make it there. We're not going to do four laps in the right position. No. We're going to make it, um, well, place your bets. Probably three and a half laps if we're really lucky uh, because I'm in the GTOs and the GTOs have not got any easier. We've got full damage on. Because we thought it would be good to have a little bit more excitement like the M3 GT2. So, what's more exciting than that? Getting the hiccups and trying to drive a GTO car, apparently. No, just driving a GTO car. Ignore the hip hiccups, are we? Or the hip ups. It's a totally different thing, that. Right, in we go. The inside of the big Nissan, up the Chevy. Slam through the gears because we needed a big long straight to get these up to uh, murderous speed because normal speeds are not quick enough. I haven't got another gear, I have got self preservation enough to brake early though. The AI is just uh, uh, it's on a it's about 105, but it's, um, yeah, aggression wise, it's uh, llama. There you go. It just wants to murder you. Just got to watch the uh, F40, it's got two truck turbos borrowed out of the car park at Marinello uh, stuffed in the back and um, yeah hardly any weight and brakes that are not forgiving but hey it looks good I was going to do an Italian uh, accent and I thought better of it nothing nothing worse than a northerner doing an Italian accent we struggle to say ravioli and spaghetti. Spaghetti O's, we can say. Still amazes me VR, the fact that you can actually sit in here and go, ooh, a helicopter at 120 ooh, 20 mile an hour, then get the wrong gear and uh, panic. battered off the Ferrari F40 but well, we've nearly made a lap which on some of these attempts I haven't made I haven't made a lap and on a couple of attempts the car's got me the AI didn't get a chance I did it all on my own These are one of the cars that you, you've got to kind of tame, really. It's a rite of passage. I don't think you could ever really tame them, but um, it does make you a better driver when you get in the less nutty vehicles, if you can handle one of these and think your way around racing them. You've got to have some blinding uh, reactions. It doesn't uh, doesn't have slip angles. It has. I'm about to just slide for 500 meters in a cloud of smoke and murder you. That's that's its slip angle. And then the turbo kicks in. Okay, lap one. Lap one. Anybody who placed bets on lap one, you've lost. How? little faith you have in me okay so now we're at the point where I'm pushing to clear the cars behind and catch the cars in front so this could be a prime time for the car to get me oh, that's 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 a kind of slip angle I had no input in that though the car caught that not me I 
start crashing up, but crashing up the gears is just how the world saw in these things. It's just brilliant. It really is. And then just trying to hold it in a straight line as the force feedback tries to wrestle the wheel out of your hands. Check my. That was kind of a four wheel drift understeer. Yeah, four so three engine damage. Oh dear. Gotta look after the engine. All oh, them downshifts. You blip on the downshifts when the car revs that quickly, especially if the turbo's spilled up. And it'll, uh, you'll pop the engine. Whoa, is that a Porsche? Yeah. They do tend to just sneak up on you out of nowhere. But it gives me something to uh, get a tow with. They are quick on a straight line, as, as you saw. Nothing, nothing, no. Oi, big white Porsche. <laughs> Remember rightly, they're four wheel drive. And don't have as much lag as these F40s on the turbos. Just gotta watch them in the corners though, because they are a bit heavy. Away we go. Put the curb over there, it sent me uh, a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit um, stop breathing for a second. Not got a lot of time to correct that when that goes wrong. Stay with the poor, shall we? Twisty bits, he will slow down for the twisty bits. Here he is. Again, another, another lovely car to drive. Does look phenomenal for Porsche. Uh, it is got a, he hasn't got it in the corners, but down the straights. More than enough power. And a lot of traction out the bends as well as we will see. Yeah, here he is. Engine damage four. Tires are okay. Dab the brakes before we go in. And to second. He was having a look. Got distracted on the second bit. Again, we leave him through the twisty stuff. Cut that car as much as we can, not settle the car. Something wrong there. So, no Porsche, no Porsche. I can just see him way off in the distance. Just over there. Just over there. Here he comes. Here he comes. I'm in top. Late break into there, here he is. You can get a little bit of a, a punch out of the turbos just to get away from him. I'm in top and he's just coming up to speed. Here he comes again. Right up behind. Oh, thanks. Even bangs into the back of me. It's on the outside of me here. <laughs> Same place as last time. Hmm. 
I can't go any straighter, I can't go any faster down the straight, so I've got to break away before we get to the complex this time to get shot of him. Ah! That's a bail out there. Place full of gravel. Lap three or four. Oh no, another. Okay, those of you who uh, put down lap three, you win. Although I did it myself. Oh, there's enough of Porsche. Easy. Now we'll come down. He's still at the side of me. He's hooked on the side of me. Now on the other side, can you stop it? Jeepers. I hate it. When it does that, the AMS2 magnet. Can't turn in because he's completely <laughs> on my rear arch. So, lap three, it's all going off. Okay, okay. Yep, yeah, let's get back on the track. We're not dead yet. Dirty tyres. Oh. So yeah, definitely lap three, that's where I got to. That's where I got to. Trying to trying to get it back. Trying to get it back. stalled as well come on what's going on with the tyres rears are a bit warm rear left is a little bit warm give you enough row you stepped in behind me right down to first ok we well, might as well call out what I'm doing as I go around here over the start finish line up the hill we're just going to lift to get around this apex here as soon as we get straight we're dropping down to second of course the Ferrari's got left off oversteer so when I lifted off to go around that apex it was like tally -o. so these I'm just going up the gears up into fourth already this one blip down to third hook the apex and we've got this Lift over rise there, and when the car goes light over the top, and down to third, onto the beginning of the Monson Straight Part One. And up to top. absolutely battered going down here in the Ferrari if I take my hand off the wheel will crash so I won't do that but trust me the uh, false feedback is giving me a workout okay second through those two breaking at the second marker board as we went in well just after uh, I'll take my hand off the steering wheel can get back hold of it As you can see, the car is jumping about left and right all over the place, and the wheel is still moving, and I'm trying to hold it still. Down to third for this one, then down to second for this one. You can go all the way over to this curb, not the white line. I've got the wrong gear. Only bumpy on the exits of here. Big bump here. There you go. Up over the. Uh, hill where the Mercedes like to do uh, backflips into the trees over there breaking at the 100 meter marker board in these watching that lift off over steer looking in in second run it as wide as I can and down Dustpan Alley as we've named it we'll have a little look out on the left there's the helicopter up to top Check your bumper spots. 
we've got six engine damage okay green patch on the left remember to lift off oversteer on here and just trail brake the brakes just come off it of course then it wants to lift up oversteer get it pointed in the right direction do not stall it It's all gone a bit peak tongue. Di diabolical plan by Jim. He's been out with a bottle of uh, olive oil to spread it all over the track. Down to third for here. Trying to keep the car balanced on the throttle. Not for uh, not for great, just just balanced. It's like a big pendulum, and there it goes. Tires are wearing down because I've been absolutely abusing them, and they uh, it all ends in trouble at mill. Oh yeah, big massive rev. That'll be ten engine damage. That's the first. And that's it, we managed to get to the end of the race, just about in one piece. Hope you enjoyed me watch, watch me struggling with that one, jeepers. Oof, I'm not even looking where it came, it wasn't good, it wasn't pretty. Oh, dear me, yawn, oof, I'm being attacked. Right, adios.